what is life without life? What is the truth without the truth? I asked myself these questions in stanzas, but answers never came. Lame I was. I didn't know the right name to call, so I blamed it on others for my same sins. I was ashamed of not becoming who Christ had named me. I wanted a cut for my sin sins. And so I tried. I cried every night, but it wasn't by my mind or power, and I had forgotten the tower. I was a sinner, and the chances of me moving this mountain were slimmer than it had ever been. No faith, just fate of eternal damnation till I yelped, help, Lord. And so I laid, I stayed. I prayed at the home of the one who paid for my sins and shame the Calvary's cross and he told me. He taught me that the thoughts I fought in my head about how this mountain will be brought low is not in his sight. He says that if I come holy and say I'm sorry, he take away my worry and make me holy. He told me that I'm the chosen dust and the fine earth and he would like see would sieve my guilt and shame and now I'm running. I'm flying in this mountain be falling down to the ground. I used to stretch like a wreck to take one step forward. Eventually I take two steps but now I take five, ten steps forward. No backwardness. Impossibility turned possibility. And so have you died as deep as the Mariana Trench in your sin and you think your sin will sink you or you think there is no way out of this loop? Look, Christ died rose on the top day. 4,000 feet mountains are brought low here. So dear, you ask me what is impossible. I would say nothing with Christ because I found life in life and I found the truth in the truth. So, the message is here again. Jesus Christ is here for you. What is that mountain before you? And how far do you think you're sunk into the river of sin? The good news is, Christ is here to set you free. He set me free. He delivered me. You can be set free too today. Accept Jesus Christ and you can be free. God bless you. For the wondrous things, wonderful things, our God has done. Since the beginning of this crusade, you will close your eyes and lift up your hand and say, oh God, we bless your name for the wonderful things, wondrous things you have done in our midst. Since the beginning of this crusade, you have said, you have healed, you have delivered, you touch kidney. You will have problems. Therefore, God, we say thank you. Let's open our mouth wide and magnify the name of the Lord. We call upon the name of the Lord to favor us with weather. Everything we ask him to do before the crusade, that's what God has done for us. The Lord has fed for us with weather, day and night. We are seeing the manifestation of the power of God. We saw the presence of God in our midst. People of God, bless him. With all your heart, bless him. Say unto him, O oh God, how great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. In our midst, you are so great. You have manifested your greatness. We saw your mighty. You move in our midst. Therefore, we say thank you, Lord. Let's worship the name of the Lord. For the servant of God, anointing, and the grace of God. The power of God, the presence of God upon his servant. People of God, bless the Lord. Let's open our mouth wide and magnify him. Let's open our mouth wide and so forth our appreciation. Not unto us, 
but unto God. We give thanks. He has done it. He has done it. Everything we asked him to do, he has done. Oh God, we say thank you. Oh God, we say thank you. We praise your name. We magnify you, Lord. Be magnified. Be exalted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. All over the world. You have passed through. The life of people. You have transformed. Across the globe. We say thank you. Let's worship him. Not only in the GCK. Even in the past GCK. The Lord and be glorified himself. Prove himself. As our Lord. The honor of the work. He is doing it by himself. Therefore let's praise him. Millions of souls have come to the kingdom. This is the point of the GCK. Day by day, the Lord is renewed the strength of his servant. Let's appreciate him. In Jesus' name, we pray. A resounding amen. A global amen. If you are there, the Lord has touched you. He has done something in your life. And you want to share your testimony. You don't want to keep it by yourself. You want to share with the people of God. I want you to move to the front. And come to my left of right hand here. You will see our leader there. They will interview you. Then you will come and share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Today is the last day of this crusade. I want to tell you, this day, the Lord will visit you. We are in the month of August. It is a month of visitation. I said today, the Lord will visit you. I'm reading from the book of John chapter 7. Verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cry, saying, if any man touch, let him come unto me and drink. Jesus Christ said, on the last day of the feast, if any man touch, let him come unto me and drink. Today is the last day of the GCK of Gomasa chapter. And you are here today. And you are hearing my voice today. Across the globe. You will rise up your hand unto God. And you tell him. Oh God. I am thirsty. Visit me today. Let today be my own day. My own day of visitation. My own day of blessing. Jesus Christ stood. And cry, if any man thirst, let him come and drink. I am thirsty. That's why I came. Jesus, reach out unto me. So forth yourself unto him. And you cry unto him. 
Are you calling upon him? Pass me not by. Oh, gentle Savior, let tonight be my own night. Pray. People in America, pray. In Australia, pray. In South Africa, pray. Everyone all over the world, let tonight be my night. The night of miracle. The night of deliverance. The night of visitation. Oh, gentle Savior, pass me not. Pass me not. Pass me not. Tell him you are thirsty. Tell him that you are thirsty. Tell him your need. The Lord will do it for you. In Jesus' name, we pray. A global amen. Oh, what if I walk out? if I walk to a year? Oh, senior, it's a job Boy, you are taking my gun. Tabo, you are taking my wasa. Tabi, if I want to, ma, bolo wa si mi ni wa juni bi yi. Ori anwa dari wa. Ni ba ni wa ti fiora wa la ni bo. Wa si jeri re. You are sitting there. The Lord has touched you. The Lord has blessed you. Maybe He has given you salvation. Whatever you have received at this crusade, and you want to share. With the people of God, come now and share your testimony. And see our leader, they are waiting for you. The Lord will visit you today. Say, the Lord will visit me today. I said, the Lord will touch you today. I'm reading from the book of Genesis. Chapter 21. I'm reading from verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. For Sarah conceived. Sarah conceived. And bear a son in his old age at the sad time of which God has spoken to him. You will pray tonight. You will tell the Lord, Oh God, let tonight be my set time. My own set time of visitation. Rise up your right hand unto him. I said, Lord, let tonight be my own set time of visitation. As you did unto Sarah, do it unto me also. Open your mouth and pray. Let tonight be my own set time. Set my time. Let it be my own set time of my deliverance. Of my transformation. My set time of salvation. My set time of elevation. My set time of deliverance. Oh God. Let tonight be my own night of set time. The third time of visitation. This is the month of visitation. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto him as he has proposed. And Sarah conceived. What is your need? What hell has thee? Are you saved? Let that not be my center of salvation. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him that blindness, I don't want to go with it. Tell him your problem. Oh God, here before me, I'm here before you. I'm here before you. 
Let this night be my set time. A possibility. Feasibility. Great possibility. Turn it to God. People of God all over the globe. This is your set time. Anywhere on the radio. Anywhere you are on the television. Cry out to God. Let tonight be my set time. Set time of miracle. Are you looking for child? The Lord did it for Sarah. Let me bring the night be my time. My set time of conception. The Lord will do it. He has done it before. He will do it again. Are you praying? North America, are you praying? South America, are you praying? Brother in India, are you praying? In Russia, are you crying to God? Let the Lord set my time. Let him set your time. Oh God, my set time of visitation. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him that he had a say, come. And let him that the task come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. I am willing, Lord. I need salvation. I want restoration back. Visit me again. Give me another chance. South America, you pray. South Africa, are you pray. In Togo, are you pray. Tell him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty God, we bless your name for this last day of this crusade. The day of visitation. The day of victory. Oh God, let this day be our set time of visitation in the name of Jesus. You will use your servant today. And our blessing will reach out unto us. Father, we say thank you for your answer our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, tonight is the final night. And I want to assure you, that are the final amen. Your problems are what? They are gone. gone. Your troubles, gone. Amen. Sicknesses, gone. Amen. If you believe this, say amen. amen. In anticipation of what the Lord is going to do tonight, I want you to close your eyes as we appreciate the Lord. You are here.
are very, very grateful for all that you have done for us. Oh God, we are very, very grateful. Let me say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful.
can do better. Praise the Lord. Global Hallelujah. Today is the first day in the month of August. You cross over. I said you cross over. Praise the Lord. It is wonderful. Our God is great. This day is a unique day. I said today is unique. Today is special. Today is a great day. A great day for you. A great day for your family. A great day for your life. Today, the first day of the new month. Today, the last day of GCK Ogomosho. That is divine coincidence. Divine coincidence. Jesus is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He started with us. Today is ending this GCK today with us. The Alpha and Omega will say to your case. I said we said to your case. Today, final solution. I say final solution. The Bible said, look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the world. Today, as you look unto him, the Alpha and Omega, the solution to your problem, end has come. Final day for your soul tricks. Look unto him. You will see him. I said you will see him. We are going to pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you. We adore your name. You have brought us to the beginning of a new month. And you are helping us to end this GCK Ogomosho. Receive our presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Alpha and Omega, you are here to settle the case of your problem of your children. To give solution. To solve their problem. Whatever problem you have brought here tonight. Solution. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for finding the answer. Thank you, Lord, for having answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A greater amen. amen. We are going to sing from page three of our program. Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of the glory divine. Care of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Vision of rapture now burst on my side. Angel descending, bringing from above. Echoes of mercy, whisper of love. Perfect su submission, all at, is at rest. In my Savior, I'm happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long.
Please let's remain standing. The Lord is wonderful. We want to go before the Lord in prayer this time for all believers globally. The Lord will do something as we round up this Ogbomosho crusade. The Lord will do something special globally this time in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to seek the face of the Lord concerning the truth of holiness and righteous living globally. The scripture says in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15, but as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be holy, for I am holy. We want to pray. Everyone that has received the truth, everyone that has come to Christ, everyone that has uh, been born again, this crusade, this time, the previous crusade, the monthly crusade, the Lord himself will ensure that the, uh, every soul is holy, and that holiness will project it everywhere that we are, to the east, to the west. The Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Let's lift up our heart unto the Lord and tell the Lord, Oh Lord, bless your people with holiness. Oh Lord, bless your people with godliness. Oh Lord, bless your people with purity of heart. Oh Lord, oh Lord, bless your people such that Lord will be good example anywhere we are. In the west, in the east, in the north. And in the south, let's talk to the Lord in prayer. The Lord has been wonderful, but the truth can only be seen when the life is holy. The truth can only be visible when the life is pure. The Lord will help. The Lord will bless. Let's take the first of the Lord. Oh Lord, we lift up the west unto you. Oh Lord, we lift up the east unto you. Oh Lord, we pray. Father, arise, oh God. Touch our lives with power. Touch our lives with purity. Everywhere our come are, everywhere the followers of Christ are, everywhere the Christians will be. Oh Lord, begin to magnify the doctrine of holiness, that the truth of holiness will be established in every heart, that the truth of holiness will be established in every life, that God alone and God alone will be worshipped in holiness and true spirituality in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, let us pray that all the confusion in the world that distract from the truth, that all the lies in the world that distract or confuse the babe in the Lord, that all the confusion, the distraction from the truth will be taken away in Jesus' name. All the newborn, all those that have just come to Christ during this crusade, all those that have just come to Christ this year, to throw all our crusades, all those that have just come to Christ, any way that the truth is preached, that they will be established in holiness, that you will be established in righteousness, that the power of God will portray, will, uh, will, will create, will recreate, will uh, found, will solidify true holiness in every heart in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, without truth, there's no holiness. You can't be holy and not, and, and not have the truth. Jesus says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Jesus Christ himself is the truth, is the truth, is the truth. The truth makes clean any form of confusion on the doctrine of holiness. We want to ask the Lord now. Father, clear it out of the way of rooting out of your church and establish the true church in righteousness and true holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let us tell the Lord, Lord, do it. Lord, do it. Lord, do it. Lord, do it. Confirm your word and purify your church in the name of Jesus Christ. Confirm your word, Lord, and purify your church in the name of Jesus. Father, every doctrine that rises up against the truth, against the truth that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Father, we counsel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. No doctrine will compete with the doctrine of truth. No doctrine will compete with the doctrine of holiness. No doctrine will compete with the doctrine of Christ in Jesus' name. Tell the Lord to clear all the confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we want to pray. You know, you see the events of the world, you can tell the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. And the, and the scripture says something concerning this time. It, it says in First Timothy chapter 4, it says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly 
expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having con their conscience seared with a hot iron. They can't feel anything again, forbidding to marry and going to extreme doctrine. You know, in verse 4, you know, you know, it says there, for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Now, we want to pray. We want to pray that the Lord himself will grant the church watchfulness, 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 that we will watch for that day as they that prepare the wise virgin that prepare for their groom, for, for their groom to come. The Lord himself will make us ready. The Lord himself will make the world ready that the Lord, the watchfulness will never, never, never be ignored in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let's, let us pray that the church will be ready for the coming of the Lord. That the church will be prepared for the coming of the Lord. Full preparation, souls will have to come into Christ. Full preparation, the church will have to be holy. Full preparation, the church has to be militant to reach all the people that must be reached. Now and in all generations to come, depending on how long the Lord tarries. Let us pray that the Lord, the Lord's coming will be a motivating thing for the church to rise up and be militant. That the Lord will quicken us, quicken us to prepare, quicken us ourselves to be ready. That the world will be ready for Christ in Jesus' name. That the harvest, which is plenteous, will indeed be harvested completely and perfectly by the living church for Christ in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us talk to the Lord. Let us ask and receive in the name of Jesus Christ that watchfulness and steadfastness that is required of us that the Lord himself will perfect it in Jesus' name. That among the ten virgins, all that believe will be the wise virgins. All that believe will not fall into the foolish virgins. All that believe will have their oil. All that believe, will, their oil will be running. All that believe, their oil will be set fast in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will confirm it in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us pray for our general superintendents. And for all the ministers the Lord has been using. Let us thank God for them. Let us bless the name of the Lord for them. Let us bless the name of the Lord for his unction upon our general superintendent, for, for his unction and wisdom upon our pastor, and ask the Lord increase it more and more. The days are evil. We need that sharp, pungent power. We need that sharp, pungent wisdom. We need that sharp, pungent uh, uh, messages to come and bring the souls out of darkness to his light. He has been doing it, but we need the Lord to double it. He has been doing it. We need the Lord to triple it, to multiply it a thousandfold so that more will come to Christ and Jesus' name. May his impact affect the nations of the world. May his impact affect the continents of the world. May his impact affect the messages affect every country, every nation in the world. In Jesus' name. Let us lift him up. Ask the Lord for more of his grace, for more of his uh, power, for more of his anointing, for more of his favor upon his servant and all those that are, uh, he has raised to hold up his hand to support uh, the work in the name of Jesus Christ and in all other living churches that the truth is preached that holiness is upheld, that the people are preparing for heaven. May the Lord himself increase uh, the, his blessing upon their work in Jesus' name. Let us pray finally for this, the crusade participants, the people that have been involved with all our crusades. We want to ask the Lord that every one of them that have come to Christ, may they witness their final salvation. May they be there saved on the last day. And uh, there will be no halfway believers that they believe for some time and then they go away. That they believe for a season and then they go away. But they will believe into eternity in the name of Jesus Christ. And there will be people with Christian conviction. They will not be wishy-washy kind of believers. There will be people with deep, deep, deep conviction. Conviction that lasts to the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray that the Lord will preserve all the fruits of this crusade. All the fruits of the previous crusades. All the fruits of this ministry. The ministry has been going on for years 
years now, the Lord himself will do a new work, will do a powerful work, will do a glorious work, and preserve all the labor of the righteous in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, we thank you and we bless your name for thy mercy. We rejoice in thy faithfulness, O God. We trust you have answered our prayers. Make manifest the answers, O God. Father, that the glory of Christ will be seen in your church and everywhere in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody say louder, amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. We can do better than that so that hallelujah will travel to every nation of the world. Praise the Lord. We are eternally grateful unto God for the past five days. It's been wonderful. His name be praised forever in Jesus' name. And this last day, sixth day, it shall be great. And we need to understand the significance of today. John chapter 7, we read at verse 37. John 7, verse 37. Here the scripture says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, shall flow rivers of living water. But these spake he of the Spirit, we they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. That last day, Jesus made a declaration, and that will be fulfilled for us today. The last day of July edition of GCK, is bringing us to the first day of the eighth month of this year, month of August, beginning of a new thing. Jesus declared on that day of the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Today, heaven declares a new dispensation for you. Heaven declares a new dispensation for your family. Heaven declares today a new dispensation for GCK. Heaven declares a new dispensation for the global church in Jesus' name. So shall it be. I said, so shall it be a new dispensation. We have even prayed a new dispensation in the ministry of our pastor in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we welcome everyone to this final day of the Global Crusade. I want to appreciate the officers and the leaders of Christian Association of Nigeria who have been with us from the beginning. The Lord will continue to journey with you in your ministry in Jesus' name. We just mention names. Please, you just uh, rise up so that we just recognize you. Venerable Gabriel Abiodun, can we thank you very much for being with us from the beginning. Reverend Ezekiah Olaniron, thank you, sir, for being with us from the beginning. Reverend Dr. Adeniji, thank you very much for being with us from the beginning. Reverend Samuel Loaremu, we're grateful for being with us from the beginning. 
Pastor Abolade, thank you for being with us from the beginning. Pastor Adegoke, thank you very much for being with us from the beginning. And Pastor, we are told that our Excellency Pastor Mrs. Florence Alao is here. Alao Akala is around with us. Can we put our hands together? God bless you, man. You are welcome. We are prophetess Ani Fowoshe, official head of churches. God bless you. We are, you are welcome, man. We have Lady Evangelist Ruth Adigun. You are welcome. Thank you, man, for coming with us. All heads of church officials and all central working committees, we are grateful for your support all along. The Lord will support you in all areas of life in Jesus' name. Also, our royal fathers who have been with us, we are grateful uh, you have been with us also. The presence of the Lord will be with you as well. We have his royal highness of our son, the Oladapo. We have his royal highness of our Samuel Babatunji Oyebanji. We have his royal highness, the yellow day of uh, Igeru land. We have former Professor John Akintola, and we have the Aregu of Okeleri, Oke and we have former John Akinku Miareo. We have, we have His Highness Ademala Alao. We have also, we have Sunday Ezekiel, one of the royal fathers. We are grateful. She, Gadamonshi, also, we have. Okay. We on Petru, that's the Israel Highness. Please, you are welcome. Can we recognize you? We are told. Uh, thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. Can we put our hands together for him? God bless you. And also, we have other chief and traditional rulers. As you have graced this occasion, the presence and the blessing of the Lord will be with you. Peace will be during your reign in your throne in Jesus' name. We are all welcome. God bless you. This crusade may be coming to an end, but the resurrection power of Christ and breakthrough are bound to linger. What is more, the day is coming when the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdoms of our Lord and Christ. In that day and at that time, every knee from every tribe shall bow and every tongue from every nation on earth shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. But you don't have to wait till that day to surrender. Today, right here, right now, my dear friend, Sing praise for the glorious things Christ has done at this crusade. Many testimonies of changed hearts and multiple testimonies of chains being broken. Join with us as the choir from the states and regions and nations come to sing praise. Be blessed and remain healed.
To the barren places, light to the darkest spaces, God. It's your nature, you bring joy to the broken hearted hope, to the ones who've lost it, God. It's your nature. Bring peace to all. L'ennemi essaie toujours de me rabaisser Ne m'entends pas du chemin Disons que ma foi est suffisante Fais attention à ce que tu dis Je crois que je recouvre ma santé La prière de foi est faite pour moi C'est mes canaux dit que c'est mettre sur nos guéris. Alors je suis guéri de ma tête à la planche, mais t'es juste au bout de mes hôtels. Je suis le Dieu qui te guérit. Je suis le Dieu. 
puissance pour guérir encore. Je suis le Dieu qui guérit. Jusqu'au bout de mes orteils, un pied de fait de mes canons de deux, c'est mettre ici, nous guérir. Oh, alors je suis guéri de ma tête. Salah, ya Salah, Salah. Ayo Malibi. Fiya Salah, wa anta kuntain wa lai. Asif Fandi, maalish, nnum galabni. Maalish, maalish. Hasal khair. Ruh bussara Salah, amin li kubayt ahwa lau Salahat. Di khamis kubayt ahwa Fandi, mtishraba al naharda. Jaraiya Salah. Wa anta bitaddil li al-masharibi li anna bashraba wa lai. Asif Fandi, ma asudsh, lakin anna khaif ala hadrita. أنا عارف إن كتر القهوة بالليل قبل النوم غلط، وحضرتك الساعة داخلة على الساعة ثلاثة، وحضرتك مش هتقوم ترتاح النهاردة؟ لا 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 لا، مش هرتاح الليلة، أنا منتظر تليفون مهم جدا، ده بالنسبة لي تليفون العمر، روح أنت دلوقتي. إيه ده؟ سمير؟ أيوة سمير. حبيبي ماجد باشا ايه الاخبار يا سمير تمام كالعاده يا باشا طمنا على الصفقه ده انا لسه بقرا في الورقه بتاعها بس المره دي احتاج منك تزود عمولتي شويه ماجد باشا انا هاخد 40% جرائيه يا سمير ما احنا اتفقنا على 20% باشا انا بسمع منك الكلام ده كتير انا اسف يعني وبعدين بقى يا سمير خلاص يا سمير اسمع بقى اتفاقي معايا 20% قبل استلام الصفقه وال20 الثانيه بعد تتميم الصفقة إن شاء الله. هو ده الكلام يا ماجد باشا. تمام يا كبير ماشي مع السلامة. تمام تمام يا سمير. سلام سلام يا سمير. سلام. القهوة يا ماجد بيه. حطها عندك يا صلاح. ماجد بيه ما تاخذنيش، حضرتك شغال ليل ونهار وطحن نفسك في الشغل. وأنت عارف إن أنا بخاف عليك. وقبل ما أكون بشتغل عند حضرتك إحنا كنا أصحاب، وحضرتك كنت بتسمع ليا. عايز تقول إيه يعني؟ أقصد إن حضرتك مش مدي نفسك راحة، وكل مرة تقول أنا هبطل الشغل ده، هبطل ودي آخر مرة آخر مرة وحضرتك مش قادر تاخد القرار. لا 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 لا، إن شاء الله أوعدك دي آخر مرة. أنا بالنسبة لي دي صفقة مختلفة عن كل الصفقات اللي عندي. دي صفقة العمر بالنسبة لي، بس ادعي لي أنت صلاح إن شاء الله الصفقة دي تتم على خير وأرتاح باقي العمر يا صلاح. ماجد بيه ما تاخذنيش. الشغل اللي حضرتك شغاله ده شغل حرام. بتقول ايه؟ حرام؟ جرى يا صلاح؟ هو انت بتتدخل كمان في شغل ولا ايه؟ اتفضل دلوقتي يا صلاح روح. But they that will be rich by force, that will be rich at all costs, that will be rich very quickly and very suddenly. 
that will be rich by all means, crooked means, enemies, on Christ-like, on Christian means, they that will be rich, that say, I must be rich by all means. If the work I'm doing in the church is what will disturb or hinder my being rich, if my staying with my family as a man will stay with your wife and your children, if that is what will hinder me from being rich, I give up that family. وما دت يدي وليس من يبالي بل رفضتم كل مشورتي ولم تردوا توبيخي فأنا أيضا أضحر عند بليتكم أشمد عند ماجي اعطني قلبك الان اغتسل وتطهر انزع شر افعالك عنك من امام عيني كف عن فعل الشر ولكن اذا ابيت وتمرد تؤكل بالسيف صوت ايه ماجد بيه؟ في صوت بيتكلمني بيقول لي انسحب 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 ايه؟ روح 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 انت روح انت انا كويس انا كويس روح انت يا صلاح دلوقتي حاضر يا ماجد بيه For the love of money is the root of all evil The love of money is the root of all evil اهلا بيك يا اسيس ازيك يا مستر ماجد؟ اه خليني لما اكتب لحضرتك شيك لمشروع الكنيسة اللي انتوا بتبنوها الأيام دي في الحقيقة المرة ده أنا مش جاي لك عشان تبرعات ولا عشان مشروع الكنيسة خير؟ عايزني في حاجة تاني؟ في الحقيقة أنا جاي لك لأني امبارح أرشاد من رب لي لأني شفتك في حلم بالليل وانت وعمالك بتنازع وبتصارع في مكان كله ظلمة وبعدين حصل ايه؟ والأسف أنا ما قدرتش أعمل معاك أي حاجة شفتك عمالك بتسارع جبت أخرك وقعت في الأرض وما قدرتش انعشك انا وقعت منك وما قدرتش تنقذني للاسف عشان كده انا جاي لك وبقول لك ماذا ينتفع الانسان لو ربح العالم كله واخيرا خسر نفسه او ماذا يعطي الانسان فداء عن نفسه في الحقيقه كلام حضرتك ده ذكرني بحلم انا حلمته والحلم ده انا سمعت فيه صوت والصوت ده كان بيقول فإني دعوت وليس من يبالي نددت يدي وأبيته صلي لي يا أسيس أمين أنا هصلي من أجلك يا مستر ماجد لكن من الواضح أن الرب ليه كل المجد بيديك فرص كتير عشان تتوب عشان كده عندك فرصة أنك ترجع عن خطاياك وتتوب عن طريق الظلمة اللي انت ماشي فيها وتطلب توبة تامة من الرب وتتطهر من خطاياك أستاذ ماجد نعم أستاذ سمير منتظرك برا خليه يدخل حالا أنا منتظره يا سيس أنا مضطر استأذن دلوقتي عشان عندي اجتماع ضروري تبع الشغل أمين يا مستر ماجد وأنا آسف كنت ضيعت وقتك أستاذ ماجد اخبارك عامل ايه؟ ايه اخبارك؟ اخبارك كويس؟ تمام جاهز من العروض ولا كله تمام جاهز طبعا حالا وهنقول كمان مبروك اه استاذ ماجد اه مالك شد حيلك ايه؟ اه استاذ ماجد شد حيلك حد يجيب لنا اسعاف يا جماعه يا جماعه يا جماعه يا جماعه 
مستر ماجد مستر ماجد مستر ماجد مستر ماجد مستر ماجد For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. When Christ comes, there will be people that will say, and I know. Judas regretted, and I know. Samson regretted, and I know the people that know the way to heaven and the way to glory and the way was spread before them. And they could easily have taken that way and they did not. When the Lord comes, they be like the foolish virgins and they would say, and I know. Then the wise virgins would have gone in and then later the foolish virgins will come and knock at the door Lord, Lord, open unto us it's too late had I known praise the Lord Praise ye the Lord, night of miracle, night of signs and wonder. It is your turn. Say, it is my turn to receive testimony, to receive my miracle, and testify. I'm going to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 63. Isaiah 63. I want to read from verse 7. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us and the great goodness towards the house of Israel. I pray this will be your testimony in Jesus' name. He said, I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord. Many people have been healed. Many people have been delivered. And many testimonies have been recorded. Today is your day. I say today is your day. Day of miracle. Day of signs and wonder. Get ready to give your testimony. Now, we are going to listen to two testimonies 